Hey cookies, today I'm gonna show you how I make my buttery, flaky, easy breezy homemade pie crust. Let's do it. All right cookies, starting off with some extra cold unsalted butter and butter flavored shortening. Now we want it cold because we don't want the butter to melt while we're making the actual crust. We want it to melt in the oven while it's baking. So we're gonna make sure it's extra cold. Just put your butter and your shortening in the freezer for a couple hours before you start. Then cut it up in small pieces. And cookies, as you can see, I'm being very careful not to use my hands to touch this butter. Why? Because body heat warms things up. And you know, I'm kind of hot, so I can melt some butter. All right, so you're going to do the same thing to the shortening. Just cut it up in small pieces. Now you could use just butter in this recipe, but I prefer to use half shortening because it makes the crust extra flaky. Now we're going to pour more water than we'll need into a measuring cup and add some ice cubes to it to keep it nice and chilly while we make this crust. And child, then we're going to break out this 1958 Cutlass Supreme version of a food processor. <laughs> but y'all, I love my dinosaur. I keep it clean and it works fine. Just add your all-purpose flour in here. You can absolutely do this step in a bowl, but a food processor makes life a lot easier. Now I'm going to add in a little sugar, hey, make it sweet a little bit, and some salt. Then we're going to put the top on and give it a couple pulses just to mix that together. If you're doing this in a bowl, then just use a whisk. Now add in your butter and your shortening and get to pulsing. And again, if you're using a bowl, use a pastry cutter or even two knives to do this. It may take a little longer, but it will work. And it should get really crumbly like this. Now we're going to add in the cold water, two tablespoons at a time, pulsing in between until we get our desired texture and consistency, which I'll show you in a second. So you want to add the teaspoons of water gradually, two teaspoons at a time, checking in between. I hope this makes sense. If not, the recipe link will be in the description box and it will explain it in depth. But this is the consistency we want. We want to be able to press it and, you know, it kind of clumps together like that. Don't talk about my nails. I'm going to get them done tomorrow. All right. Now, pour it all out on your clean work surface. Then kind of press it together and mold it into this big dough ball. Then cut it in half equally. Just measure it, child, with your eye. You know, guesstimate, whatever you want to call it. Separate the halves and kind of press and mold it down until you have a little disc. Like, you know little CD size little pie crust okay then break out the plastic wrap then wrap them separately and put it in the fridge for at least one hour to give that gluten time to cool and rest or if you're not ready to use them right away just put them in a freezer safe ziploc bag and you can freeze them for up to one month after the hour we want to make sure we flour our surface as well as the rolling pin then you know what to do get your roll on start in the middle and roll it out make sure you turn it as you go so it gets nice and even and then you fill this sucker up with whatever goodness you want to put in your pie and this crust is perfect easy right and now you can flex in front of your family and your friends like i can make a pie crust and it's flaky okay <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. The recipe link will be in the description box. Until next time, be blessed.